Right up high up, so I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, C5 video. So this is my friend Sinclair C5, and what he did today is did the standard rookie error of connecting up the battery to the wrong polarity. So he said basically it was a sunny day, he put the battery in here, very amateur, and just connected it up the wrong way. And then basically he, he smelt uh, burning smells really, really quickly, disconnected the battery, and then that's it, nothing left on the lights. So I thought, you know what, I'm, I'll make a quick video and see exactly what damage took place from connecting up the battery the wrong way. So I've just removed the red lead on the back, just from loosening the pod here. I've already removed the two screws here. Just pop open the cover, and there'll be damage in here, plus also probably in the um, control box, but obviously I'll come to that in the video if there is damage. And you can see here, going along, you've got R21 straight away is burnt out. Um, there's no other obvious damage in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the control box and have a look in there with a torch and see if there's any damage to that. And if there's no obvious damage, I'll then just replace R21 and then go from there and see, you know, if anything else is um, mullered or not. But it'd be interesting to know if it's just that. I mean, I've never done this fault before because I've never connected my battery up wrong. So yes, let's see. R21. Right, let me whip off the back. Cool. Right, Paul. So part two. So, just open up the cover for the for the uh, control box, and instantly it smelt burnt. And um, when I look in here closely, there's nothing obvious except for uh, the R1. So that's good. So that's your common standard bits and bobs. Um, can't tell if anything else has gone until we test it. That fuse is the D1, etc. Looks good. Um, there's no obvious burning of anything else in there. So certainly an R1 and an R21 at least. So yeah, I'm going to take the panel off now. And then yeah, solder those, solder those babies in. Cool. And I so say, if, if you get to wear that, it's just those two components, then it's happy days. I guess this shows you why it's important to connect up your power correctly or to use a safety harness from uh, guys like Chaz. Cool. Right, yep, I also a quick video. So basically, uh, my friend um, connected up the battery the wrong way around. Total rookie error, basically it's a sunny day. He, he's hardly ever used a C5, made a major rookie error and connected up the uh, negative to the pause and vice versa. Then there was a burning, a blatant burning smell coming from electronics. He also disconnected it when he realized and then proceeded to then reconnect it again the wrong way around just to double check that it's still burning. So double burn, um, costing him money, unfortunately. So when I got this, when I got it, on the first, first part of the video, as you can see that um, R1 was fried. On the um, pod, R21 was also fried. So those are the two it needed to do in straight away. Still didn't work. Deeper looking into it, that had R, R1 had then proceeded to burn out the IC1 chip, which is um, quite common. Those two are linked together, basically. And that then links down to IC2, which is also fried as well. Um, so that was it there, and it blown one of the fuses here. This one here, that's another fuse we put in. And also while we're in there, actually, these connections here were ever so slightly loose as well, so we tightened those up. That sorted that out, relay is still good, luckily. On here, um, I'm now gonna connect it up, actually, and you can see what, what else has gone wrong. So now it connects up, looks good. Check the, um, the lights on here, check the throttle for the motor. There we go, there. So this one here, you know, obviously I just showed you red. That might be accurate, not, not sure. Probably would show green because it's quite a low current, but you can't really tell this part here until you connect it up to a, a real motor on a C5. But ultimately, in a minute, this is from the drop down because he's also unfortunately burnt, so ruined the ULA. Um, sad time, so he's now gonna need one of Mr. Jeff Wells' ULA replacement chips in it because say in a minute you know or, or so that will start to drop down and then it beeps so yeah very 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 sad times and there goes the first one there so this will this will drop down over the next over the space of probably the next minute on this um, roughly on this camera so yeah so it's all good um other than that so i'll see if the owner wants me to put in a, a, a jeff wells chip when you put the chip in the instructions on the internet but I've done a few, and I think I remember rightly. But basically, you, you, I think I, you have to remove one of the resistors down here. If I think it was, you certainly cut or remove one of the red wires here, and you solder a resistor between 
um, on the back of the board between two of the um, the pins here on this IC2. That's the sort of general gist of it. So that, so that will need doing as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's useless otherwise. Press the throttle. And I say that will start to beep in a second once it drops down to the last level. I say the moral of the story is absolutely, it's so important not to connect up wrongly. And there we go. Um, don't connect it up wrongly. Don't 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 rush. Um, but also, you know, if you, there's any chance of you doing that or your kids doing it or whatever, then buy the safety loom. And obviously, you can see here this isn't a safety loom. But if you have a safety loom in place, Chaz sells them. I'm not sure who else sells them. Basically, have a relay system in, and all you need to do is effectively is just um, connect up this, you know, to the to the various points on here. And there's there's a switch as well to turn it on and off. And basically, it's a relay system, so it just stops you if you do connect the batteries up the wrong way. Stops you burning out electronics. I don't have any on mine because I'm not a. Um, I don't have a habit of connecting the batteries wrongly. But yeah, this is costing say um my friend um realistically yeah, about four and a half hours work, plus components, plus the ULA chip. So it's, you know, a reasonable outlay unfortunately for a, a rookie error. But yeah, anyway, I hope this is some use to everyone, and yeah, thanks very much. Cheers, nice one.